Today's Realtor Reaction is Ryan Seacrest, Beverly Hills Mansion. I'm Realtor David Ivkovic. Welcome to LA's Coolest Homes. Let's take a look. Okay, we are looking at 1192 Cabrillo Drive in Beverly Hills, California, 90210. Open up the map. Here's Beverly Hills downtown, and then the property is located up the hillside, up Coldwater Canyon. Here's the Franklin Canyon Reservoir. And then we'll open up the satellite and zoom in. So it's at the end of this cul-de-sac, and you can see it's in this kind of little inset or valley within the hillside and then the pool or the backyard faces south into beverly hills so you have this beautiful view from your backyard and then you can see off this uh cul-de-sac is the long motor court and driveway and there's an underground garage as well so it's quite a big property it's 2.88 acres so we'll dive right in. One of Beverly Hills' most private and secluded estates, situated on just over three acres. It actually says 2.88, so we'll let the listing rule here. So just over three acres, a sprawling contemporary compound featuring a 9,200 square foot, four bed, six bath, one story main house, two guest houses, separate gym, gorgeous pool with pool house and underground garage. So it doesn't actually say the total square footage of the property. A lot of times because there's guest houses and so many different types of um, dwellings or residences on a property, they don't put it because it's kind of all, all over the place. All right, let's dive into the photos. So the property was originally built in 1963. It was originally listed in 2020 for $85 million. And then it sat on the market, didn't sell, it was relisted in 2022 for $69,950,000. And then it sold in November of 2022 for $51 million. So it went from uh, 85 million to 51 million. And as I mentioned, it was built in 1963, uh, has seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. Uh, again, the main house it says is 9,200 square feet. I don't know how big the guest houses are. And it's the listed lot size is 2.88 acres, but the description said over three acres. So we'll just let it go. Uh, so it does have this beautifully manicured uh, lawn and grounds. This is a koi pond. And then we'll just kind of dive in. I do like this house only because it, it was remodeled. It's not original, but it has that kind of 1963 flair to it. So here you can see it doesn't have that big grand entrance that we're used to with some of the larger uh, newly built mansions. Um, here is the pool, which is facing south. So here's your backyard. Uh, but it's on the south side of the property and it has this kind of infinity edge or it might not be infinity edge, but it has this edge where it's this two story uh, property. So below there's additional underground parking and uh, other parts of the residence. So it's a large compound. And here, here's what I mean. So again, 1963, but renovated just this kind of really cool wood exposed beams uh, with, you know, it's just past mid-century modern. This is typical here of mid-century modern, the windows above, but yeah, I really like this house. So this is some type of big family room off the backyard, um, big, huge, wide plank uh, flooring. I don't know if that's vintage or it's just, you know, really huge old planks of wood or new. Uh, this is the dining room. So it definitely has that kind of, I, I not a designer, I wanna say post mid-century modern uh, or a modern feel, these very squared off uh, furniture and dining area. Here's another dining area. Let me just go back. Oh, there, so this is probably off the kitchen and then here's more of a formal dining room and then so we're back here at this i think this might be a bar but i don't know yeah so this is a bar so it's like a seated bar area off the dining room so you go have a little whiskey before dinner or after dinner this is a powder room and then moving in so the property as i mentioned had the one-story main house oh sorry skipped 
Uh, this is like a library or a rotunda ro library with a really cool chandelier. Um, it does have the two guest houses, uh, the gym, a pool, pool house, and the underground garage. So we'll just start uh, spinning through all these photos. And just the grounds, I mean, uh, your budget for a gardener is probably high. You see, a lot of times when you're driving through the hills, all you really see are gardeners parked out front, all the pickup trucks and like 30 green bins because there's just so much gardening that's happening with these properties constantly. Here's a steam shower with the skylight. This is actually really cool. So big glass, high ceiling, steam shower. So uh, with the dual shower heads, uh, Ryan Seacrest getting sexy in his shower and then this beautiful uh, walk-in closet. So this is the primary closet with the dressing table there and then the overhead lighting. Uh, lots of shoes. I like that kind of dark wood. Here's a bedroom. And then this is, I think, like a lounge area. Oh, we'll, we'll see this again. There's a, a movie screen and then like a little poker table and bar. But we'll see this room again. Here is a massage room or spa. So it's very zen with the green, relaxing. And then here's that room again. They kind of flip-flop the images. But so you have this... Uh, widescreen or large screen uh, projector probably and then a little lounge area and then the poker table or uh, games table there and another powder room with your black toilet very dark kind of sexy powder room and then here's the backyard again with this covered sitting area so you have the heat lamps here above all these pendant lights hanging so um, I kind of really enjoy these older compounds or uh, mansions just when they keep that kind of original style so you can see it here it's not so big and just kind of in your face it's you know for a large home which it is it's just i i, I want to say very tasteful uh, and then the grounds i keep talking about them but they're, they're very pretty and uh, mature too where it's not just you know a bunch of hedges that were just planted you can see these trees are older and the landscaping is very mature. Uh, here's back, so there's the little pool house or cabana, the pool facing south back into Beverly Hills, and then lots of photos of the grounds, a little installation art piece, high hedges for privacy. Here's the gym. Uh, so, oh yeah, you can see how it steps down. So that aerial shot that we saw before so this steps down below the below grade or subterranean in the home and then back out so the photos are kind of all over the place nice little outdoor sitting area midsummer's night dream kind of feel there a nice little stone pass to walk around uh, and then here you can see off in the distance they're facing um, down south into la another installation art piece these are fixed so i it's interesting, especially when you're wealthy and you know this could be a very famous artist installation art piece, and then that kind of stays with the home. Is that valued? Is that part of the value uh, of the home? Because you know you could take that with you because it could be a very significant piece of art. So it's interesting when they put those kind of installation pieces around the property. Do those stay? with it. So here's a bunch of aerials. So here we saw that cul-de-sac and then the motor court to the big or the long driveway to the motor court and then facing south into that kind of canyon. And here's another shot. So there's Century City and then downtown here um, to the east and then the ocean is right there to the west. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice property. Uh, what else? So here's the, the down below, we saw the gym. So it's below the pool, I believe. And then the underground parking, which I don't think we'll see, but that's it. We didn't see the kitchen. So a lot of shots left out. They had 43 shots left out some pretty significant pictures, but that's the thing, you know, only the people who can afford it get to see it. So they kind of leave, a, leave us wanting more, but uh, pretty cool house. Uh, well, thanks for watching. I'm David Ivkovic. Make sure to like and subscribe and join me next time as we tour more of LA's coolest homes. Take care.